I'm Lynn. And I'm Erica. And we're with AccuQuilt. And we want to show you our Go Hummingbird quilt today. We've got it hanging behind us. Yeah, just gorgeous. I Absolutely, love I love it. We're gonna uh, show you how to put one of these kite blocks together. Right. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Go Kite die. Yes. And this is one of our block on boards. So we like to call them bobs. Bob. So don't forget that. Uh, and with this die, you can layer your fabric or you can fan fold your fabric. So if you're going to fan fold, you're just, you always keep in mind, you're gonna cut those strips first. So just measure the width of your shape, add about a quarter of an inch on either side, and then just cut right down the width of the fabric. And that'll perfectly put your salvage at this so that it's heading into the rollers, which is how we always want you to cut. Right, so you can also layer with this uh, die, it is designed so that you can cut an entire block in one pass. So with Which that, great. it is great. So you need four layers of each of the colors. So we're just, that's how we're gonna cut this here today. We're gonna just layer these and these are both on the lengthwise grain and we cover that. And this is a die, I mean, this is an eight inch block, but this die would work with either the Go or the Go Baby. You could make this whole quilt with the Go Baby as well. So uh, it's a great, uh, be I think a beginner could do oh, this. Absolutely, absolutely right? yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give you, we're gonna put one of these units together. It's gonna together. make you look really good. Okay. This is so fun to put together because of our dog ears. It's just gonna match up perfectly. You can see the dog-eared corner. I'll pick it up so you can see it a little bit better. And the point's gonna match perfectly on it so that you've got a great lineup. And we're ready to take this straight over then to the sewing machine. And I'm excited to put this together. And it saves you time because you don't have that step of having to cut those dog ears off. Right. Um, this is also, you mentioned, Erica, that this is an eight inch finished uh, block. So that means that this block is compatible with our 8 inch and 12 inch mix and match sets. So um, really this, any die that finishes to 4 inches is a great one to pair up with this die. So you can get really creative with designing using this kite uh, die. And Lynn's got a pressing tip for us because I normally will press towards my darker fabric, but Lynn stopped me and told me she has a tip. I was uh, doing some uh, sewing of, having some fun yesterday and sewing kite blocks and I found that pressing your seams open was really more beneficial than pressing them to the side on this particular block. So I'm gonna put that out there as a lens tip. Excellent. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the other side on because I really wanna see how this looks when it's all put together. And again, we've got that dog ear, so I'm gonna lay it out take it straight to my sewing machine. And this die with all of our others do have a standard quarter inch seam allowance. And so you can get lots of different looks. This is a very traditional, um, very traditional block. This, yes. But we've uh, given it a modern spin just by our fabric selection. And it would make a great scrappy quilt as well because it, the pieces are perfect for, uh, for a scrap quilt. Well, and it would get a whole different look if you put it in, say, Civil War reproduction fabrics, too. Sure. And even if you rotate the, um, the four-inch units in different ways, you get different looks. Oh, so on point. On point. Wow. Um, yeah, it's, it's lots of options here. Okay. There we Lynn's go. Lynn's got us all pressed up. There you go. And I would go ahead and do all of my, get all of my little block units here put together first. And then before we've got half of the block put together, we're gonna to put together the other half. And what I want to show you is, I know sometimes pinning is a bad word, but um, it's gonna be really important here because we're gonna be able to line up those seams just perfectly. And I think you can see that. I'm gonna put a pin in there and I'm gonna do that for two reasons. The first is that I want those points to line up perfectly. The second is that when I get to my sewing machine, I want to be sure I'm sewing the right part together and I'm not sewing the... So I do that as a little tip for myself. I like to sew, pin, um, kind of assembly line with things. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew this again with that quarter inch seam allowance. Now we can see how that is. 
I got threads everywhere. And being able to cut, I think, an entire block at one time will save a lot of time as well. It really will. And again, we're going to press that seam open back to Lynn's, okay. Lynn's pressing tip. So then when you go ahead and you're ready to put these final blocks together, again, I'm going to recommend that you pin again. And I'm going to say this time we're going to say recommend three pins. But I'll start with that center seam and put a pin in there. And your point should line up perfectly for you um, to go ahead and get those pinned as well. Uh, just keeps me on the straight and narrow. Once you get going with a project, you'll probably be able to bring those straight over to the sewing machine, sew them together with maybe one pin in the center. All right, some great tips because I think the pinning really makes a difference in a lot of it these It does, blocks. and it's going to help you get that exact corner that's going to make us look so good when people look at our finished quilt. That's right. So uh, you can download this pattern at AccuQuilt.com, and you can also get it out of the package of the Go Kite die. Be sure when you're on AccuQuilt.com to check out our blog for more tips and ideas. You can sign up to get an email notification every time a new blog posting goes up. You can also find us on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. That's right. Every quilter knows that better cuts make better quilts.